today we learned about our Passover story with the mean old Pharaoh in the land of Egypt who told all the Jews that they have to build, build, build all these big pyramids. Well, Pharaoh told the Jews another thing. He told the Jewish people that they couldn't have their babies anymore. All the babies had to go away. And there was a special baby in our story. And that baby's name was Moses. And his sister Miriam wanted to keep him safe. So Miriam took baby Moses and she wrapped him up. Oh. I also have this baby Moses. She took baby Moses and she wrapped him up to keep him nice and warm. And she put him in a basket and she went through the trees down to the river. And she put the basket in the river to save baby Moses to keep him safe. So friends, I have a challenge for you today. I want you to see if you can make a basket that floats for baby Moses on your river at home. So I have my river here. It's all my water. And I have some different materials and I want to see if they can float to help my baby Moses. So I'm going to put baby Moses, maybe I'll make this basket for him. See if it will float in the river. Oh no, friends, what happened? When I used the sponge as a basket, it didn't float. I got to make sure baby Moses stays safe. Safe. So I'm going to build him a different basket. Let's see. Sponge doesn't working. Maybe if I build a basket out of magnetiles, then baby Moses can float safely. Let's see. Hmm. Here's a basket. Let's put baby Moses inside. Uh-oh. Friends, the magnetiles go all the way to the bottom. They sink. And baby Moses is getting wet. That's not going to work. All right. Let's see what else I have. <gasps> hmm. I have this little Tupperware container. Let's see if it floats when I put baby Moses in it. Oh, gotta be very careful. Oh no, friends, I'll have to keep trying. I wonder if you can find a way to make a basket that will float on the water for baby Moses to ride in. All right, I can't wait to see pictures. I'm sending lots of love. Bye, friends.